Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Rodney. Um, I wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how to pull uh, cash buyers the right way using the real estate software called PropStream. I have other videos on my channel about this software, and it is the best software I've used so far as far as helping someone like me and someone like you who's into wholesaling as far as um, finding cash buyers, finding motivated sellers, everything, getting comps, everything you need is in here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to um, pull cash buyers the right way. All right, so let's say you're um, when I'm logged in. And I'm in the, I uh, went to my search bar over here on the left. And I'm going to type in any zip code someplace in Georgia right now. And before I forget, you can get a free trial to the software. I'm putting a link down below in the description. Give you, um, I think it's seven days for free to test this out. So if you need cash buyers, you can go ahead and use that for now. Um, 30349 is in Georgia. All right. So. Up here, you have different tabs that show. Okay. Here, we're going to look at the cash buyers tab. So it's 5,378 cash buyers. So what I can do is I can click on this here, right? Click on that. And on the right, it shows me properties that were bought cash. That's not what we're going to look at right now. We're going to go right here to this filter section. Okay. And click on filter. My criteria is over here on the right. The only thing I have so far is cash buyers in this zip code. All right, so what I want to do is I want to I want to find cash buyers who purchased within the past six months who purchased single family residences with cash. And I want to make sure that they are cash buyers that buy multiple properties. So in order for me to do that, I want to buy, I want to look for property, property buyers, cash buyers who buy in a LLC or some sort of, some sort of corporation that tells me that they're professional buyers, they're they're landlords, as opposed to someone who buys that might show up on this list as a cash buyer using their personal name. All right, so let's go. All right, property characteristics. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna look for buyers who bought three to four bedroom properties. Okay, and And I want to look for the when they purchased it. Ownership information. Okay. Last sale date. Okay. What I want to do here is I'm going to put in within the last six months. So September 2020 right now. I'm just going to go back to, to January just to make it easy for me for this video. January 2020 or later so people who have bought from January up until now okay cash now owner type right here in the same section I'm gonna check corporate as you can see here that individual corporate mixed and trust I want corporate all right as I'm typing all this in, as I'm putting in my criteria here, all the way on the right here, the number of properties shows up. All right. So this is going to be a good cash buyers list. Three to four bedrooms bought in a corporate name January or later. All right. So let's just take a look at one of these 220 properties. 4166 Kensington in Atlanta. All right. Property details. As you can see here, this owner purchased in an LLC. All right. The owner happens to live in Chandler, Arizona. Okay. So this is a, somebody who lives in Arizona who's buying properties in the Atlanta area. Okay. Let's just check out another one. 1815 Heatherly Drive. Owner name. OZ Properties. Okay. They live in Roswell. Let's check. Let's click on this cash sale information. They bought this property for one hundred twelve thousand five hundred dollars in August of twenty twenty. Okay. So as you can see, this list has two hundred twenty properties. So what you want to do here is you want to click on this little box here, which checks all of the properties, and then you go and you'll add it to a list. 
Okay. I'm going to hit create new list. I'm just going to name it Atlanta Cash Buyers and save it. Okay. Now that's in a list. Now I'm going to go over to my properties. It shows up in my marketing list. Atlanta Cash Buyers 220 right here. So I click on that and all the properties here show up, all 220 of them. So what you want to do now is you can click on it and then you can export this list. I'm not going to do this right now because I'm not pulling this list. But as you can see, you can export this list and you can send them postcards or yellow letters, things of that nature, letting them know, letting them know that you are a wholesale and you have properties for sale. You can even do this campaign directly inside of PropStream, okay? The software has everything in it. I'm not going to get into the, the details of that right now, okay? I just wanted to show you the proper way to pull cash buyers. Main thing, as far as I'm concerned, is to make sure that you have corporate buyers, people who buy in an LLC. And having a cash buyers list, I'm telling you guys, is the, the biggest asset you can have as a, as a wholesaler because... Not only can you sell the properties that you get under contract yourself, you can help out other wholesalers in your city who might have properties under contract that they need help selling. Maybe you can do a JV deal with them and split the profits. I've done plenty of deals like that. All right, so get yourself a cash buyers list. It's a very important asset for you to have. Use PropStream, get your free trial down below, and um, hopefully this information helps you guys. Take care.